Hi, so I'm here today to talk about my bilateral mastectomy with breast implant reconstruction. So I had breast cancer in 2009 when I was 31 years old. So that's already been nine years ago. And this is just to kind of show you what uh, reconstruction looks like now nine years after a bilateral mastectomy. So when I had, uh, when I was diagnosed with, with breast cancer, now when I was diagnosed with breast cancer, like I said, I was 31 years old. We caught it early, it was stage one, but because I had the BRCA1 gene mutation and it was a triple negative breast cancer, uh, and you know, like I said, my early being young, the doctors recommended that I have a bilateral mastectomy. I knew I wanted reconstruction, but there really weren't that many options at that time. They were doing um, the reconstruction where they use your own body fat, but because I was in pretty good shape, I really didn't have that much body fat, so it wasn't an option to get me to like the size where I needed to be. Now to just give you a little bit of an idea, I was pretty small to start out with. <laughs> I was maybe A or B cup. When I talked to the plastic surgeon, we were kind of uh, getting a feel for where I wanted to be, and I told him, I just, I just want to be about where you know, where I am anyway, and, and I don't want to be that much bigger. And he looks at me and he says, they don't make them that small. <laughs> so um, it was kind of funny, but kind of not. Uh, but anyway, just to get you uh, a feel for uh, what the implants are, what kind of implants I have, uh, they did 325 cc about on both sides. And that puts me at about a C cup now. So I did have to go a little bit bigger than I was used to. The scarring that I have is S-shaped scarring, so it's kind of nice because you don't see that when I'm wearing a bikini. The only scars that you do see are ones under my armpit here. And that is from having a few lymph nodes removed on both sides. They needed to do that to check and make sure that the cancer didn't spread. But other than that, so these are implants. These are silicone implants. <laughs> Kind of pushing here just to kind of show you i feel like they look pretty real my only problem is uh, i don't have the cleavage and they said that we could do some more kind of touch-up surgeries now but i feel like i've had so many surgeries i'm done i don't need to do that but uh this will kind of give you a feel of what your breasts can look like if you do breast implants after a bilateral mastectomy so I had my mastectomy in, um, it was October 5th, 2009. Because I had this surgery in Dallas and I was living in Austin at the time, I did a lot of back and forth. I probably could have done the process a little bit quicker had I lived in the same city as where my doctors were. But I would go maybe every, every couple months or so uh, to get the expanders filled. So, what happens is during the original mastectomy, when you have implants, they normally start you out with expanders, these temporary expanders, and then they gradually fill them over time. I, I believe it's with saline to kind of get your skin stretched out and ready for the permanent implants. So I had my expanders filled probably every couple months or so, and that was really <laughs> a weird feeling because your boobs are growing. Um, so. I had my exchange surgery where they took out the expanders and put in the implants. I believe it was April or May of the next year. So that was about six months after my surgery. Now, if you're living in the same city, you can probably get that going a little bit faster depending on how your body takes the expanders. So this is what it looks like now. Breast implants after bilateral mastectomy with about 325 cc on both sides. And I started out as maybe an A or a B cup, just to give you a feeling. If you have any questions, if you, I don't know, are about to go through this and you're doing the whole route with the bilateral mastectomy with the breast implants, let me know and I can give you some tips, assuming that they're still valid after nine years or if you just wanna talk and commiserate or have somebody uh, to vent to, I'm here. Feel free to reach out. You are not alone. You can always talk to me or I can always put you in touch. Uh, somehow, you know, we can find some people locally for you to get in touch with and get some answers. So hopefully this video was helpful. Please feel free to pass this along if you know anybody who's just now starting their breast cancer journey. 
and has some questions about what it's gonna look like after you're through with everything.